Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we've made it to what is called the Hall of History. If we just look here we can see that this is where all the dinosaurs spawn in and they're generated. Just across from us here we've got an image of the earth. But in this room here, if you guys have never seen this, but we have windows into all three of the boss arenas that we completed. So you can see this is where the overseer would monitor some of the best survivors on the island. And I think it's really cool that we've got a, a window into all three arenas here. It's such a such a nice touch that they added this in the end. And I'm going to give my theories as to what I think is actually happening here. And I'm not sure that even though we're going to go into the fight and fight the overseer now, I don't think we actually defeat the Overseer. I think that the Overseer is in fact what progresses us to the next arc. I think after proving our best that we can defeat him, I think it's the Overseer himself who actually ascends you. Just got a Rex struck, stuck here. I will add as well that the Otter is the only thing stopping me from getting hypothermia. I have got one of the soups on now, but it wasn't enough. And if you come into the Hall of History and into the boss fight without an otter, and you're wearing a full tech suit like I need to be, then you are going to be slowly taking damage over time. And uh, so I highly recommend, especially if you've got a full tech suit, because you'll only have a primitive tech suit. You can't get the blueprints in the island for anything better than just the normal primitive one that you can craft in the tech fabricator so as a top tip there bring the otter these dinosaurs are slow come on. I should have them on follow me but it's okay okay coming up so we've got some more clues as to what's happening here so it is called Ark for a reason and I think we can see here that we've got another image of the earth and it looks like around the outside of it on the coastal regions something's happening something's happening around the coast perhaps some sort of catastrophe and just on this side is the window here you can see this is where the players are generated I have picked up a couple of the explorer notes already because I just had a little look round just there I was just taking freezing damage but it's gone so it literally is a fine line I've pumped 20 points into fortitude on this player and it's just the otter that is literally keeping me from freezing okay just progress through this tunnel here if we can Okay, and we've got another picture of the Earth, and it looks like... Now, a few people say this is actually Mars, but I think it's Earth without water. And the catastrophe has perhaps burnt the Earth. But clearly, we have gone. And that's why the Ark exists, I would think. This here is some sort of spirit in the distance, I don't know, perhaps the DNA of the memories of the best fighters from the Ark. But I think all of this is a test. And we're about to go over something really cool here. This bridge that leads into the Overseer's Arena just sits over the top of the island. And as you can see here coming down, this is where all the supply crates are beamed down to the island just below us. I guess if we look carefully, we might be able to see Herbie Island. I think that's actually in the bottom right hand corner. You don't actually fall through or you can't get off the edge of this. I have tried it, but you can't get through. But and you don't slip through. There's a little barrier here. But yeah, I can see I can see Kano Island in the top, but I can't quite see Herbie Island. So you can see the volcano belief us and all of the supply carries getting beamed down to the island really is really is cool okay we continue on 
we all need to get these dinosaurs through the door. As soon as they step onto the lower plate, it will activate the boss and the doors will close behind us. That's the Hall of History. So I believe, like I say, in this fight, when you do defeat the Overseer, I don't think you actually def defeat the Overseer. I think the Overseer is the one that ascends you because you've proved yourself worthy of perhaps the first test. The next test being Scorched Earth. Okay, so we're all through the door. You can see the island map there and the locations of what appears to be supply crates. It's all being monitored from this room. I really do like this arena. Okay, that's triggered the Overseer over in the distance there. Now in order to do this fight, I'm actually going to jump off of my Rex and we're going to fly right to the top of the ceiling to stay above all of the drones. They can't hit us from there. We can direct the dinosaurs from the bottom. At the moment you can't hit the Overseer, it's just got a shield generated around it but it's going to start beaming in its minions. We're going to use this shotgun as well, my Ascendant shotgun, certainly the most useful weapon in the game. I'm not even going to bother with the tech rifle. The drones on the floor here we can pretty much leave our Rexes to take care of. And there is a ledge just behind me where I could sit and sort of rest if I needed to. Okay, here we go, so this is the drones. Just keep above them. They're going to try and get above us, so they'll gather around the ceiling like that. Okay. Now it is difficult for our dinosaurs to chase the Overseer around this e arena while it's in the shield form like this. So we need to shoot at it and try and get its shield down. If we are hit, like we was just then by the beam, we're only just disabled for a little bit. We can still fly but we can't shoot. So we need to try and avoid them. Otherwise it disables you just for a short while. I'll try and get in the middle of them if I can, like that. Also the posts are quite good to use just to block that laser. Okay, it's in shield form again, calling its minions so the, the dinosaurs can't really hit it at the moment. Let's just stay up here. I love that I can see aberration in the background there as well. Right. Okay. Let's see the drones, there we go. Just take care of these. Now if we're on the floor, them drones are shooting us quite heavy and really being quite a nuisance, so that's why it's definitely best to have one player taking out the drones from the top here. Or if you're solo in it, just stay at the top. Okay, so it looks like it's changing and it sounds like the brood mother. No, it's the Megapithecus. Now it can hit us from here, if it does throw the rock uh, move, it can hit us. We do need to be careful of the monkey, that is one of them that can actually hit us from up here. And probably one shot us as well. As you can see some of the drones there, they do drop element if you run low. That's what the blue material is spread out on the floor, but we should be good. Yeah, just got a watch out for the rock that the monkey can throw. Okay, that's that. That's just having to change form now. Again, it's shielded why it brings its minions in. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. The, the army's doing well. Let's see where the minions are. The drones just kind of appear. One minute you'll be concentrating on something on the floor like this. And suddenly they're just shooting you, so you just got to keep an eye out. And here we go, I'm sure I'm getting shot now. There we go. And they'll always try and get the high ground on you. But they can't exactly get you from the ceiling. Got me then, but I dropped below it. shield form. Not 
much now. I like this arena much more than the others. It's really spacious to be able to get around. Okay. They're all waiting at the shield. I prefer them to be there. Take a couple of these drones out to help. So we just got blinded, we can't shoot, but we didn't take any damage for getting hit by that laser. It will dismount you if you are on a dino if you get hit by it. Okay, now it's changed into the brood mother. Come on everybody. It's not whistling behind him, it's gonna attack him anyway. It's just fired the poison. Now. I can't have hit it. Oh yeah, it's hitting it now. I was going to say they should have automatically aggroed there if the brood mother hit them. Rolling now. See, this ascendant shotgun really does do some damage. The aberration just at the back there in the island. It looks like a couple of scorched earths. Just take a couple of medical blues. You do have to get down on the floor in order to be able to use the medical blues. Like I say, it's only the otter right now that's actually keeping me from the hypothermia. I'm pretty sure I would be taking out damage from the cold without it. I haven't got any of the soups on at the moment. Ooh. Just get high. Okay. Still getting shot. There's one somewhere I can't see. Take a shield down if we can. Almost there. This is where the dinos have a little bit of trouble keeping up with it when it's in this form. That's just walking right through them now, so. Okay. Ooh. See, I knew it was getting shot at. But it can't get us there unless we drop beneath it. So we're getting close now. Hasn't turned into the dragon yet. And here we are, this is the dragon. Okay. It will just cycle through all three of the bosses. left now.
There we go. They sort of naturally just come towards you when you go to the top of the ceiling. They just all bunch up so it makes it easy to take out the drones from the ceiling. Also puts you in a good position to be able to take the Overseer out while it's in its shield form. close now. I think this is his last desperate push to get some more minions out. It's spawned into the monkey so we just need to be careful of that rock throw manoeuvre it can do. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's just a low down on the ground one. Come on you lot, everybody in. I think it took enough damage in there. Megapithecus form, trying to transform into something else. Let's just reload up. No more drones, I can't see them. I think this is it. Oop, should have gone into the beam. Okay. Everybody in. And there we go. We have defeated the Overseer. That is it. We've completed the arc. Oh, just want to put my weapon away. If we just run over to this top corner here, in case you guys didn't know, or when you come to take it on, the last Explorer note is just here. And we'll get that because it's the only opportunity we're going to have to open this one. There we go, that's the Overseer Explorer note. And, well, it has taken quite a long time to do. I say I've been at this for about six months, but we finally managed to do it. And right now we're going to ascend from the island map. And I'm going to get let you guys enjoy the end sequence here without me talking over the top of it. Thank you very much for all of the support over the series over the last six months. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.